<laughs> Good day, Tampa Bay. Matthew McClellan here on this Friday in for Charlie Belcher coming to you live from Largo. We are at SPCA Tampa Bay talking about some of the older pets available for adoption. And this young gentleman, Gizmo, is going to be the Tampa Bay Rowdies Dog of the Week. He's going to be at Al Lang Stadium tomorrow night for the game. He'll be at the tailgate getting to meet and greet with some Rowdies fans. I also have Carolyn Wisniewski with me, who is the Chief Philanthropy Officer here at SPCA Tampa Bay. Carolyn, can you share with us a little bit about these older pets and how sometimes they have a little more trouble getting adopted out. Absolutely. So we consider a senior pet any animal over seven years old and everybody is always excited about puppies mm -hmm. and kittens and don't you know don't blame them I am too <laughs> but um, sometimes the older animals can sit in our shelter for a little bit longer yeah. when in truth they make great pets um, they're already house trained yeah. they usually like gizmo here has great manners yeah. right he knows all his commands so, nice. so they make great pets and people should always think about you know what does an older dog bring they have a lot of energy they're great pets and you don't have to do the house training and all Correct. that stuff like exactly. you were just saying let's see exactly. if you can just get him to run hey gizmo okay, everybody Come play, come play. Yeah, he's got a lot of energy. His hind legs do this really cute, funny wiggle thing. Definitely food motivated, like you were saying, Carolyn. Loves a throw toy. Come but he's going to be up for adoption. I know I was just hearing that he's not available until after the game. So if right. you see him, you love him, uh, he's going to be available for adoption very soon. Let's talk quickly, Carolyn, about some of the upcoming philanthropy events and other ways people are giving back at SPCA Tampa Bay. Sure. There's always ways to give at SPCA Tampa Bay. First of all, we always take in-kind donations. We, t we always need sheets and blankets, towels, mm. things like that, because we go through them a lot. Um, people can drop off in-kind things. We have a food bank for those in the community who are struggling right now. We can always take donations of food, toys, mm. treats, things like that. But we also have our Women's Giving Society, and that's called WAGS. It's a group of women who come together to donate and volunteer and really help the animals in our care. In the spring and April, we do our annual pet walk down at Straw Park. And then our biggest fundraiser is our day of giving in November. And we ask our community, we go on television and we do a phone-a-thon and we ask our community to make a gift to SPCA Tampa Bay and our sponsors match that gift, so every gift is doubled. It gets doubled. Carolyn Wisniewski, thank you so much for sharing with us about all the great stuff going on here. The website for SPCA Tampa Bay is? It's SPCATampaBay.org. SPCATampaBay.org, that's where you'll find their adoptable pets, upcoming events, ways you can get involved. They need people to foster and volunteer, donate. Uh, there's no shortage of ways you can help, even if you're not ready to adopt a pet right away. Back to you.